Hello everyone, welcome back to Outro's Plays. Doom Eternal! It's episode 2. This one will not be a special length. Hour long episode, so don't worry, you don't have to pay that much attention this time. Oh. Well, that's a shame. Exultia. Now ready for your approval. Uh, sound? Hello? Less of that, please. Uh, we have, therefore, just now... We seem to be on our starship, which is, in and of itself, extremely gothic-looking. Why is it made of stone? Why do we have a stone starship? It's awesome. We have a... Can this just be my starship now? What are you? Is this just a thing that I've won? Can I use it? <laughs> this is punch things. Whatever it is, punch it. This is the Doom Slayer. We're not here for not punching things, goodness me. Oh, he won't let me in. Well, this is my starship and I will go where I want to. What does this do? Nothing. Mate, they're just chucking me into this game, aren't they? No explanation, no no, no control over what I'm doing. Oh, hello. Flame belts. <laughs> Excuse me. What this do? Press R to set enemies on fire. And they will drop armor shards, kill them, and they drop the most armor. Flame belch demons in groups. Okay. How much do I get? Can I, like... I wonder if I can glory them at this point. Not really. Hey! Take me back. I haven't figured it out. Oh, now we get to use this thing. Well... Are you just going to explain this thing that I'm on, or are we just going <laughs> to... This is nothing to do with the previous game. This is just in media res gameplay here. Sentinel Crystal Tutorial. This is the Sentinel Crystal Selection Screen. Use a Sentinel Crystal to permanently upgrade your health, armor, or ammo capabilities. So these are the things that we had to find in boxes and stuff in, in 2016. Um, a flame belt. No. Loot magnet. Bothered. Health for blood. As long as you're at max health, all health pickups contribute to blood punch. What the crisis blood punch? Maybe not. Heavy and super heavy demons down fire longer. Demons drop armor at a faster rate. I'm guessing either blood punch is either our actual punch or it's something we haven't unlocked yet. Unclear. <clears throat> uh, so let's an upgrade to creature health armor. There are four upgrades available for each capacity. When selecting an upgrade, this section shows your currently upgraded capacities and how the selected upgrade will increase that category. You look at two links upgrades, it gives you a bonus upgrade because of the bonus upgrade on selecting. Okay, understood. So you can select that and that, and that will increase this. <clears throat> so we get. Oh, right, 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 right. So we can either increase health or armor. We can increase ammo or armor, right? So these all increase a thing, and along with it, if you get both of them, you get the thing in the middle. So. <clears throat> I feel like ammo is currently a problem. I'm going to say this and you're not going to laugh. I don't think health is a problem. And the reason I don't think health is a problem is that we get to die and try again. <coughs> ammo is a problem because we seem to be constantly using our chainsaw, which, to be honest, I'm not too mad about. But uh, it would be nice to not run out whilst I'm still doing a thing. Oh, I see. So we happen to have one on our starship. In future, that's what they'll look like in the game. Health, armor, and ammo goes immediately applied. Search the environment. Right, so the one we had on our starship all this time, we've now destroyed just because we decided that we wanted to do that. Because that's how uh, the Doom Slayer is. It do be like that. I don't think it be like it be. But it do. We pressed a whole bunch of buttons. This is what we saw at the start. It would be kind of sweet if that just sort of showed you the other side. I do like it when they have portals that you can just see directly through. I mean, Unreal Tournament was doing it in 1999, you know? Unreal was doing it, wasn't it? Go back and check. I think it might have been. I'm not convinced. Alright, so what we got out here? Uh, okay. Anything behind us? Always check behind you. Hey, look, it's Hexen. Right, 
is not. Oh! Right, I forgot about that. Instead of reloading, which you don't need to do. Well, that was. Okay. This is where you're supposed to be, so I don't know why that was there, but I'm very pleased with it. Can't grab that. Okay, cool. Uh, what can we grab? <laughs> where do we go? Whoa, oh. Where do we go from here? Does the map know? It says that wall is grabbable. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me. Chunk, chunk, chunk. Whoa! Okay, so there's a little bit of timing involved on that. Awoo? Are we following the awoo? I mean, I'm assuming that everything that I see is for me to shoot. As we've said, <laughs> this is the way forward. I have had some feedback to say I'm terrible at seeing health pickups, which is why you may have laughed at me when I said we don't need HP in our, um, you know, as an upgrade right now. This is so not dark. I love the way this game is not ridiculously dark. Give me this codex. I'm sure you can find these online, by the way. If you really want to read these entries that I'm skipping over, go check the internet. It's there for a reason. Gargoyle? What is your deal, gargoyle man? It's a nymph. A nymph. Sentive to the natural world, this beast has plagued the sentinel guard for centuries, as well as a few demons. God will be that warning and claim hapless townspeople before just being the most skilled marksman could intercept this aerial threat. And I just sort of shot it in one go without really looking twice. So there you go. Let's um, use a close up range for close up combat, shall we? So the reason you might have thought it kind of amusing that I said we don't need any. Um, Uh, HP benefits is that I'm terrible at collecting HP, which is fine, except that my new strategy is quite simply get things into glory kill range like this, duff them up, and then they drop HP anyway. So, um, uh, admittedly, it does not always present us with a, a full HP load, but hello. Um, I missed. That was terrible. But... It certainly gets us out of a jam every now and then, and with weakish weapons like the machine gun, um, definitely gives us a good opportunity to put weaker enemies into that oh, range. Like that. Uh, and just gain HP that way, so I'm not too worried about my... Oh, I'll keep reloading. <laughs> Game, please. Um, I'm not too worried about my ability to find health pickups on the way. I am worried about my ability to find secrets, etc. I know that I do not pronounce etc. correctly. No feedback about that, please. It, call it a foible, okay? Well, I'm glad I picked up that thing, because so low on HP. This game certainly seems to what I'm going to call suffer from Blood Fist? Blood Punch acquired, yeah. Okay, so that was the thing that we didn't upgrade. Glad I didn't know what it was. <laughs> blood Punch is a melee attack that deals extra damage. Glory killing fill the blood fills the Blood Punch meter once charged. Use mouse... Press E to it. Okay. So you can charge it up like this. Where is my meter? And then just own it. What? That was fun. So now we can upgrade that. Also help... <laughs> Send me back. There was a thing. Oh no, the thing is here. Nice. So there's a one up there, right? Uh, I don't think we're getting that anytime soon. So cool beans. <laughs> the blood punch meter, I believe, is just a thing in the top, right? I have no idea. What zap me? I didn't like it. How are you missing? Oh, that zapped me. Fair enough. At least there was a reason. Just avoid them. Right, give me my ammo. <laughs> Ouch. I wasn't that. Oh, it was that. Owie. Bro, that hurts. I think I got zapped even though I tried to teleport through it, but that's okay. Can't win them all. What this? 
Runes. Runes enhance your abilities or enable new abilities. You have limited rune slots. So choose runes that fit your playstyle. Yes. Uh, do you think we're going to get those arenas that we got in 2016? Form kills faster. Launch into a glory kill from much further away. Does sound like me. Gain a spood, be spood beast. <laughs> Greatly increase movement control. No, not interested. Increase how long enemy. Yeah, maybe. Survive at one death blow and briefly slow down time. Give you a chance to recover. But only once. The second win sort of thing. I like it. Hold mouse to in midair to temporarily slow down time. Once the rune is fully drained, you'll need to wait for it to recharge. So that is the same one that's going to be activating my secondary weapon. So I'm not entirely sure about that. Not enough buttons. Enemies killed by equipment or while under the influence of equipment will decrease. Recharge. Okay. Uh, drop health. Uh, maybe. Um, let us go into the further away one. Simply because... Again, with the the propensity for games these days to not believe you when you choose something, to force you to hold down the button and really commit to it. <clears throat> it's, it's just these zoomers, you know. This is the rune tab of the dossier. You can view and equip purchase runes. So you can buy as many as you want, um, but you can only have one, two, three. I'm sure you could have more than that in 2016. Maybe they considered it OP. That's their prerogative. Don't need to reload. <laughs> Mate, stop trying. I'm guessing this is the way you get to the one up, but I'm not I'm not sure about it. No, this is down. This is the way you get to the one up. Hey, hey. What a genius. I've got two lives because I'm the best at this game and you're all losers. Out. Yeah. Terrible timing. This is why I don't play timing-based games like Isaac. Who's shooting me and how dare? I do like sticking grenades to things. <laughs> it's extremely satisfying. It shouldn't be, but it is, okay? Oh. If only your mother could see you now. What happened here? Oh, heck. Not right. me to do that, but okay. Wrong weapon? Nope, correct weapon. Any more baddies? Yes. This one, please. <laughs> See, the uh, fact that my entire survival is based on me being able to perform glory kills, it was my reasoning behind um, picking the glory kill upgrade there. So that has actually worked out exactly as I expected it to. Now I have full HP and I don't care about the fact that there was an opportunity for me to possibly get more. There's no dude there. Where did he go? I'm not going in there yet because there's armor to collect. Whoa. Can I duck? <laughs> Is there even a duck button? Also, these things? Is this for the multiplayer? Or can I go back up here because of reasons? Uh, two jumps seems like the correct thing to do. Oh, is that a soul sphere? Is that full health and armor? Is that 200 health and armor, even though I don't deserve it? Secret found. Did I get it? I did. It's not 200, but it's what I thought it was. That's a point we should check. We got that one, right? We didn't. Can we get back up there? We'll do it after. We can do, use that teleport thing. I might try to um, to teleport back at the end of this episode. Well, not episode, but mission, because it's not uh, not going to be a single episode that I'm trying to finish off. Right? Ow! Yo, Jack a demon. Fight me. Damn it. Oh! I could afford that. <laughs> I'm very pleased. Thank you so much. I'm just pressing the E button on the vague hope that anything that I've shot a couple of times is going to turn into a stagger mode, dude. Yeah, like that. Because I didn't even see that thing flash, but we still managed to gain some value out of it. So there is that. Uh, low ammo. Can we change weapon? Yes. Yeah, I have this. 
So give me some HP, and this is my strategy. Right. Like, very much <laughs> laid bare for you all. Uh, shoot the dudes until they flash, get HP from punching them in the face. Which honestly is my kind of game. I can deal with this. Yeah. <laughs> love the way you squeeze it apart. Oh, it's so funny. Armor. Thank you. Don't forget you can um, intentionally use your flamethrower once. Oh, Christ. What does this do? Where's, it go? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Ah, nothing in it. Nothing there. Ah, let me up. This is not the correct way of doing this. <laughs> let me out. Immediately. So there's 10 in that. 10, 10, 8, 3 in that. I don't want you to shoot the dude. Don't give me ammo. <laughs> Stop giving me ammo. Because that means I can't use my chainsaw, which is not as much fun and doesn't give me as much stuff. Okay? Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. And get there in the end. And finally, maybe we can shoot this thing's stuff off. Die. 7 HP. Whoa. Keep moving. Where are you? There you are. Ah, enough! <laughs> Stop hurting me! You wouldn't hurt a guy with glasses, would you? Oh, come on. Oh yeah, we've got a shitload of uh, extra lives. Alright, cool. Hey! Weapon point acquired. Complete all the encounters in the mission to earn weapon points. The demonic corruption meets tracks the points of earth. Understood. Each mission has 10 weapon points total. I thought I heard noises. It was a dryer. So bend weapon points in the arsenal tab in the dossier. To upgrade your weapons mods. Okay. Uh, this is the arsenal tab where you can upgrade weapon mods, customize, blah, blah, blah. Or you can customize a weapon wheel and apply custom skins to weapons, which we did unlock because we got a reward for having bought it in uh, pre-order only a few days before, but before nonetheless. Um, so what does this do? Upgrades. Quick rack. Bigger boom. Quick rack. Bigger boom. Sticky bomb. Reload speed. Uh, how many have I got? Let's an upgrade to purchase based on your available weapon points, which is, I believe, this one here, six. So, oh yeah, it's the same symbol as that, so I'm going to buy it. Also, probably wouldn't let me choose it if I couldn't afford it. Uh, purchase all upgrades from locked weapon mastery. Yes, same as the old game. Uh, continue. Why am I in the air? <laughs> I don't want to be in the air. Okay, cool. We beat that more by luck than judgment, but we beat it anyway, so. Ah, reloaded again. In case you're wondering... First of all, what's that thing in the bottom left that's flashing one? And secondly, in case you're wondering, every time I do that, it's because I think I need to reload the gun. And I don't need to reload the gun. And if you didn't realise that by now, you haven't been paying enough attention. So I'm <laughs> mention it every single time. Uh, how are we doing on ammo? I forgot about my uh, grenades, actually. Oh, hello. Oh, that was right. That means that's ready. Understood, and I'm grateful for it. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Right, let's not go that way, because you obviously shouldn't. Because you're supposed to go this way. Or rather, you obviously should, which is why I want to go that way, but I can't figure out how to jump that high, so I don't think I can. Nope. Nope. Give up. Mate, don't even try. Try again. Don't even try. Try again. Get the gargoyle down. Too slow. I think I've actually got a speed on this projectile. Not that sort of speed, though. <laughs> Whatever. Uh... Ignore those for now. There might be a way back. Where is my... I'm trying to work out my meter for... Um, a blood punch. I'm quite sure which one that is. Very Prince of Persia. Although it's slightly easier because you get to grab onto walls from miles away with some sort of... <clears throat> ethereal flight ability that it doesn't, it doesn't seem to involve any actual um, you know propulsion system what am I doing here? rebuild the system I'm just doing these things it does look like there was stuff for me to have achieved 
Uh, yeah, I came in through here. Let's go out again, actually. Pass the cutter. Yeah, there's a thing over there. Wait! Bunk. Uh, the wolf. Should we tell her about the wolf? What is this thing? <clears throat> Loyal creatures are often larger than... Never shared publicly the origins of these creatures, for they only stood worthy of them. Uh, it's completely ignoring the fact that it appears to be entirely non-corporeal. I'd like to go over there. I wonder if we could do that afterwards. What is that? Let's find it. Got it? <clears throat> All the way back up here, maybe? I'm getting a little bit more uh, secret findy right now. Oh, I see. This does not seem to be like a thing that it wants me to get right now. I'm not seeing any huh. climbable or grabbable. Oh, maybe here. Oh, come on, you can grab that. Liar! Come on, I'm an explorer. Oh, someone mentioned to me, Kaiser mentioned to me, that maybe I would do better <clears throat> if I increase my field of view a little bit. Did you? Because I kind of believe him. It seems a little bit nearby. Oh yeah, that's way better. I can actually see what I'm doing. I hope this doesn't give anybody any seasickness or anything like that. If it does, feel free to... Uh, not tell me because I'm not listening. This is me playing. You can play it yourself. Jeez. You're in game. So we could probably also manage to get over there eventually. Right, that's where we started. And then there's another direction which we also can't get to. Can we? No. But it's worth a try. <laughs> this doesn't take a life to do that. It just hurts. Alright, let's move on. Trying some things, not getting very far, but that's okay. The point is we tried, okay? Trying is half the battle. Now, let's climb this monstrosity. What are you trying to make me do to these? Shoot them? Maybe. Clearly punchable, very satisfyingly so. It's like Zelda, but more violent. Obviously, I'm talking about the Ocarina of Time. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, just smash these chains apart. What was the worst could happen? Check if they fixed the uh, rotational physics yet. Oh, they have. Very, very grateful. Thank you for actually caring about us gamers. Because we're, we're a privileged elite, you know. We, History of the Sentinels. Uh, kind of not interested, so read that as you, at your will. Uh, okay. Another upgrade. Dash. Press L shift to quickly move while traversing or fighting. Dashing into a pitted surface instantly attaches you to it. As You can dash twice before it needs to recharge. Okay, so let's go the other way. <laughs> no, I want to go out there again because now I've learned a thing that will allow me to do what I wanted to do. But it's very stressful that you are... I think to a certain extent you... Um, are expected to... Oh, I see. Ah, the, that's the blood fist down there in the corner. I understand. Um, to some extent, you're expected to go back and redo the level with your new powers. That's interesting. You want me to grab that, did you? <laughs> I, I didn't. Push button. Oh, thank you for opening the door in a very genteel sort of way. Are we not the Doom Slayer? Do we open doors? No. We burst through them gung-ho and say, I'm here. Lend me your brains. Or something. It's a very cutscene-y game, but they're all so well done. Why are you here? <clears throat> 
I'm here to turn on my chest light. What is this giant golden snitch? Oh, apparently I'm taking it anyway. You cannot kill the priests. Oh, you Neptune. Know our laws. Despite their transgressions against the government, they are still of sentinel blood. What you interfere with now is bigger than you. It is written. It is their time to give penance. If you continue, you will bring down the heaven's wrath. You are but one man. They are no longer your people to save. Who is this dude? Telling me what to do. You look human. What did I get? Don't forget you can use a blood fist now. Got one blood fist and two dashes available to me. I've learned something about King Novik. I did want to know, so uh, forgive me. King Novik ruled over Sentinel Prime for many years as its warrior patriarch, ordained protector of the Soviet, <clears throat> ordained protector of the sovereign Sentinel wars. Uh, if they were Soviet, that probably have a different spin on things. The Sentinel people, defined by a legacy of war, like the Soviets, deemed only those of warrior caste befit to rule, and in times of battle it is expected that the king lead from the battlefield rather than from the safety of the throne. Good job. Kind of Viking. I like that. As it is written in Sentinel law, a king unfit for battle is likewise unfit to rule. For millennia, the Sentinel people have secured their civilization against the threat of an invasion from beast and human alike, passing on the mantle of battle to each subsequent generation and refining the craft of war, excuse me, into an art of ultimate mastery. It's because I'm drinking this orange fizzy stuff. It's vitamin C stuff, and it's, and I, I know, don't lecture me, but I kind of like it, so I'm just drinking it. Even in times of peace, the Night Sentinels remain vigilant, developing new technologies of conquest, each the more capable of securing their dominion across the sovereign world. We are recording audio, right? Yeah, there's noise. Okie dokie, now we can do a thousand different things, including dashing. Dash ones. Uh, I believe when it says it needs to quote unquote recharge, this is the same place. Uh, that what it actually means is it needs to. You just need to land. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, who cares? Yes, it is the same place. Okay. Can we go back? Can we use the weapon with an explosion on it? That I've already upgraded. Thank you. Oh. You'd be dead. Nice. Uh, I don't want to be up there. Nice. Okay. We are getting some things right and some things wrong. That's okay. Things we get right give us HP to make up for the things we get wrong. Why do things hurt so much? What is hurting me? Oh, hello. Where did you come from? And you're a big boy, huh? Hopefully my explosions don't hurt me. Because <laughs> it nearly did. Okay, I have this. That worked really well. I thought it exploded when it hit the ground. That's what the um, info said when we got it in the first place. But it's not the case. Nice, nice, nice. And we can always do our Blood Fury thingy. The weapon point, nice. So those are the encounters in the top. Of, that's actually two of a million. <laughs> um, how are we getting up time? We're doing alright. Let's just keep going a little bit longer. Oh, this hurts. I understand now. That's why it's all electrified and painful. Um, let's go that way. Maybe if I didn't run through all that in the first place. Uh, 69 HP. Maybe if I hadn't run through all that in the first place, it wouldn't have been such a big deal. We have won this. This sentinel battery can be used to provide additional power to your ship. That's the thing we want. Several modules remain unused. Finding more batteries will enable you to utilize the full functions of your command station. Ah, okay, right. One, <laughs> one jump ahead of the something. Okay, that's not right. I know we can do this. How do we do this? I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to try. 
Respawn some HP for me? How about that? How about you respawn me some HP? Any HP? Hmm? That's alright. Uh, this seems like a good sort of in between y sort of time to pause, so thank you for watching. Hope that you've enjoyed this episode and I hope that you will join me in the next one. Remember, I don't normally say this, but do remember to uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this absolute nonsense and uh, leave a like and all that sort of good stuff. And remember to go check out the Doom 2016 um, playlist that I've been putting in the descriptions from the previous channel when I was also playing that solo, which is the kind of the last thing I did before I decided to do this all on my own. So, uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, as usual, and uh, until next time. I'm going to waffle on. No, I'm going to say see ya.